I don't know if you guys are gonna hear me or not. If you don't, then I'm just gonna be doing a voiceover. But if you do, hi. Honestly, this recipe is like the perfect consistency. I just wanna put my headphones in, go to the gym, and bang out like a shit ton of weight. <laughs> I swear I'm starting all of these videos lately so stinking tired. What is up you guys? Good freaking morning. My name is Kayla Jukic. If you're new, if you're not, welcome back. I am just sitting outside of the gym. I just got here and I parked and I am just gathering myself to go in because I am just so exhausted. I had the absolute worst sleep last night and honestly just the past couple of days. My sleep has been terrible and that is also translating into my recovery of my workouts. I am still like viciously sore from my leg day three days ago to the point where it's like it hurts to walk still. Definitely today's workout is going to be super interesting. Again, I did not take pre-workout because I'm just trying to stay away from it. I'm going to be hitting back and biceps and I actually brought my wireless Rode microphone. So I think instead of doing like my normal workouts where I just put music over top and I let you know how many reps and sets and that kind of stuff, I think I'm gonna actually walk you through it with my mic, which is gonna be extremely fun. So let's get inside. Literally my gym music is so stinking loud. So I don't know if you guys are gonna hear me or not. If you don't, then I'm just gonna be doing a voiceover. But if you do, hi. So we are starting with a dynamic stretching warm up. I always use my long resistance band on upper body days. And basically the whole point is to take your body through full ranges of motion. We wanna wake things up. We wanna warm things up. The biggest and main thing that I do is a lot of arm circles, just opening up my shoulders. Even though I'm doing back and biceps, opening up my shoulders is a huge part with the band the main thing that i do is i try and mimic exercises that i'm going to be actually doing during my workout so right now you know i'm kind of doing like behind the head lat pull down i like doing this also i put the band around like a pole or whatever and i'm just mimicking like rows there's no specific formula to this. I just do it till I feel good and warm. Pump cover is coming off. Shout out to my outfit. Love it. Wearing all Elfly. Duh. What else would I be wearing? Honestly, the music is so loud in my gym. I'm just going to turn my own music off for now. So we're starting this workout off with barbell underhand rows. I have 20 pounds on each side. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to be able to show you guys like one set of each exercise because my camera did not charge last night. So basically you want to step back a little bit, have about shoulder width stands you want to have your lats engaged so bring them back you want to keep your core tight you're gonna bend over almost like an rdl and you're gonna pull your elbows to your hips i'm gonna do eight reps now i am doing lat pull downs as you guys can see but i need some water literally as i was walking over here the sweetest old man came up to me he was like i see you have a camera so i'm sure you know you know how to take photos can you take a photo with me but on my phone i think it was like his first time here or something and he wanted it with the pure muscle and fitness sign because i go to like pretty much the best gym in canada i've already done one set this is my second set i'm doing four total of 10 reps think about pulling your elbows down but also towards your body i love this freaking exercise with my life now we are doing the seated row machine honestly i don't even think i've ever used this like exact one before and you could do both hands but i think i'm actually gonna do single hand and i'm gonna do eight to ten reps three sets when you're at the bottom of the exercise you want to stretch you, a lot of people just like stop kind of here but let your back stretch because tension is tension and you're gonna think about bringing your elbow back and keeping your chest up this chest pad is here for a reason so use it honest to god i am so exhausted and my elbow is starting to hurt a little bit so we're gonna see how this goes but i'm using 30 pounds we're gonna do barbell bicep curls i'm gonna try and go for eight reps i think i'm gonna keep it lower because my elbow, like I said. Yeah, it's feeling weird. I don't want to press more than eight. Okay, last but not least, we are doing seated wide grip rows. So you want to make sure you're keeping pressure in your feet, chin tucked in. Again, stretch and pull. I'm doing three sets, 10 reps. Also, can we talk about my tan? It is so nice. I'm obsessed. 
So it is a little bit later, honestly. That workout killed me. I needed to shower so stinking badly. So I took a shower, washed my hair, did all the good stuff, did my skincare. I had lunch, just chicken and rice. It was really good. But when I came home, I had two packages. So I'm going to go through them with you. One of them, I'm actually just not gonna bother showing you. You. This is one of two packages from Elfleet that I ordered from their Black Friday sale. This package specifically was for gifts, so I'm not going to show just in case those people are watching. But the package that I did want to show you is from Civil Regime. If anybody knows that's watching this, I don't know if they have the same owners as Dark Sport. I don't know if they're sister companies. I'm not really 100% sure. I'm honestly very new to their branding. I've seen them a few times on Instagram and TikTok, but more so a lot lately. And I actually really like their pieces. So again, I bought stuff from Black Friday because it was on sale. So we're going to open it up. The thing I've actually realized when it comes to like pump covers and hoodies and sweaters and that kind of stuff is I'm going to stop buying them specifically for me and I'm going to buy them for Alan. And that way I can also use them as like oversized pump cover or whatever. I am so stinking excited. So this is the first sweater that I got. It is from their I think it's called Marble Rose Collection. And it's basically this like very nice tie-dye marble kind of color. And it says Civil Regime. It's just a hoodie. But what I freaking love about it is the hood. It has embroidery roses on it. So red ones with green leaves as well. It is down the sleeve. This is what the sweater looks like on. Again, I got it in a size large and it is so comfortable. I don't know what is on the inside, but it is so soft like it feels so good and i just honestly love the floral embroidery it just like pops i love that it's red it just this gives me such good vibes like i just want to put my headphones in go to the gym and bang out like a shit ton of weight like that's what i feel like doing right now in this sweater also bought a second sweater the exact same one but this time in this red tie-dye marble kind of color so everything is exactly the same but then the roses are like tanny beigey and I honestly don't think I'm ever gonna take these sweaters off they're just so cozy I love it this sweater is kind of opposite to the first one the first one is like whitewash marble tie-dye with like dark embroidery this one's like darker with lighter embroidery so it's kind of cool I also did buy a hat honestly probably more so for Alex Alan, but I feel like maybe I will wear it. I don't know. Probably not, but more so for him, especially like in the summer. It's just like a trucker hat almost. It just has a rose and it says like civil regime on it. I thought it was kind of cute and it was on sale. I think I literally paid like $10 for it. So I was like, okay. I also got a crew neck. So this is the intentions crew neck fleece in the color sage. I love the color. This green is so nice and it just says civil regime over the left chest. It has like a little image on the right side. The back side is where all of the fun is. So again, it says civil regime and just has a really nice like logoing, flowers, like a little angel. I don't know. I freaking love it. What I noticed about their clothing is the front is usually a little bit more minimalistic and then the back is just like where the party's at. Now this crew neck was on sale. I can't remember how much it was, but they didn't have it in a size large it was already sold out so I did get it in a size medium one thing I will say though it's very cuffed so the cuffs around the wrist and like the cuff at the bottom of the crew neck is very tight compared to like the looseness of everything else and then I did get a pump cover this one was on sale as well this is the outsiders classic tee in clouds wash as you can tell a lot of the stuff I bought is like this tie-dye it's different shades of blue and white again this is the front very minimalistic but when you flip it to the back again that is where all of the good stuff is going on so it has butterflies which you guys know I absolutely love it has roses flames like it just looks so dope so this is what it looks like on this is a size large and it fits me pretty perfect as an oversized tee. and honestly the colors are so vibrant like they look so good I'm really excited to wear this in the gym it's literally 4.08 and like look at how gloomy and dark it already is getting outside. It's actually so sad. So I guess we got to turn the Christmas lights on 
Just gonna plug them in right here. I love it, it's so pretty. It just makes everything so much better. I also have a few ornaments, custom ornaments that I wanna show you guys quickly. So the first one I got is this like porcelain ornament from Etsy and it says, our first Christmas married Kayla and Alan, the Christmas tree and our wedding date. And it's on this like white porcelain little plate. It's so cute with a little obviously ribbon to hang. So I think I'm gonna add it right here cause I kinda want it like front and center and to be able to see it. So nice, I love it. Okay, the other one I wanted to show you is this. We were actually gifted this by one of Alan's coworkers' wife. They came to our wedding, so the whole story is we actually had these. I had to honestly go through my wedding stuff to pull these out because I had extras, but we had these custom napkins from Shutterfly and it says fun facts about the bride and groom. And then it has six facts about us and like our relationship. And we had this at the bar. She took it, like literally look at it, and she turned it into an ornament. It is so, so cool. So I don't know how she did this. We also had this spread the love because we had mini Nutellas as like our favor. And she took that and added it also. That is like the coolest gift ever. She also made two more. So they have candy canes. And then on the flip side, it has the fun facts. So we're going to give one to Alan's parents and one to my dad to put on each of their trees. The fact that this is our literal custom napkin from our wedding is just insane to me. Like it's so cool. I'm just gonna move some of these around because like the other one I kind of want it to be like seen obviously because it's so cool and like I love it just so cool now we're gonna make a smoothie a protein smoothie that absolutely slaps you guys need to try this one of my favorite recipes so we're adding half a cup of frozen kiwi half a cup of frozen pineapple, one ripe banana. You can also use a frozen banana if you want, but I don't have any. I just have this really ripe banana, so I'm gonna use it before it goes like super bad. One scoop of protein powder. I'm using a banana flavored one. A splash of almond milk. I always just eyeball it. And then one big tablespoon of vanilla Greek yogurt. And we are just gonna blend that up. in this little glass jar with a lid. This is so good for traveling, so I'll link it below. It's literally my favorite thing for smoothies right now. God, it smells so good. And I'm just gonna pour it in here. I love kiwi and I never thought about putting it in smoothies until recently and it's so good. This is the final product of what it looks like. So it's very light yellow in color, but it has like the kiwi seeds, which is kind of cool. Honestly, this recipe is like the perfect consistency in the sense that it's not too thin, but it's not too thick. I've honestly been loving smoothies too because I am so busy and it's just a quick way to get Honestly, a lot of carbs in. I can get my protein in by adding the protein powder and just overall getting a lot of micronutrients because I'm using a bunch of different fruits. And like I said, with this glass, you can take it on the go with you. Like I literally drive with this and it's just, it's perfect. So I'm gonna finish drinking that and I'm just gonna be editing and doing work for the rest of the night. So I think I am going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Vlogmas, I believe number eight. Make sure you subscribe to me down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll catch you in the second last one. I can't believe it's coming to an end soon. I'm sad. Okay, good night.